Hi, this is George Xavier Love, Doctor of Oriental Medicine. I'm going to talk to you about your digestion. Carbohydrate digestion starts in the mouth with the secretion of amylase. So when you chew your food fully and completely, you break down all the carbs so they can be pre-digested in your mouth before it hits the stomach acid. Protein digestion starts in your stomach with the secretion of protease by your spleen and pancreas. Fat digestion starts in the duodenum, which is the first section of the small intestines. Now there's something called the bile duct, which goes from the liver and the gallbladder to the duodenum. So when fat hits the pyloric valve, then the gallbladder is triggered to release bile, which breaks down fats. So carbohydrate digestion in the mouth, protein digestion in the stomach, and fat digestion in the small intestines. Now, when the chyme, which is the liquid digestate, and if you don't chew your food 32 times before you swallow it, you have big chunks of fat and protein, and your stomach acid has to work harder to break that down. Now, that chyme, that liquid digestate, goes into the small intestines. There's something called the hepatic artery that takes that from the small intestines to the liver. And there's a little guy at a computer coding and tagging each nutrient and telling it where to go. Now, from the liver, that blood goes to the heart. And the heart sends it to the lungs for oxygenation. It comes back to the heart and the heart sends the nutrients out to the rest of the body. Now, if the nutrients are not coded and tagged, they end up as fat, and your liver can store up to eight pounds of fat. Now, your brain is 50% fat. Now, your liver's job is to break down toxins, convert it into water-soluble substance, which is then excreted by the kidney. But if your liver is beat down toxic or damaged from soil pollution, water pollution, food pollution, air pollution, then your liver cannot convert it to a water-soluble substance. It converts it to a fat-soluble substance and then stores the fat in the liver and the brain. And that's why you forget where your keys are. You forget where your glasses are. You leave one room and you can't remember why you went into the next room. Okay? So our memories fail us because fat and toxins bind together. All right? So, A, you got to chew your food. B, your liver makes the bile which breaks down the fats. Now, when that gets to the large intestine, the large intestine has three parts, the ascending, the transverse, and the descending. Your large intestine is still absorbing fats and sugars in the ascending colon. So again, if you're not chewing your food, you have big chunks of fat in your colon. And that makes your system have to work harder, which ends up with diverticulitis, which is irritation, and diverticulosis, which is where the tissues necrose. Now, you have good bacteria in your small and large intestines. We call this bacteria probiotics. In the small intestines, it's acidophilus. In the large intestines, it's bifidus. You need at least eight pounds of healthy bacteria in your large and small intestines. When you take antibiotics or you eat meat that has been injected with antibiotics, then the good bacteria die and the bad bacteria continue to grow. So you have to constantly replace the good bacteria or acidophilus. If that doesn't happen, then the bad bacteria eat holes in your small intestines. And we call that bacterial overgrowth of the small intestines or what is commonly called leaky gut syndrome. So when you see people that are swollen, it doesn't necessarily mean fat, 
It could just be dirty water in the peritoneal cavity from you not having enough good bacteria. So to sum this whole thing up, you got to replace your probiotics. You got to chew your food and you have to drink hot tea with every meal. If you want more information about healthy eating, raw foods, vegetarian cooking, and juicing and detoxification, then email me or stay tuned or subscribe to this channel because there's more videos coming. Thank you.